But now he's faced with fighting a guy who's smarter than he is. So. All right, all right. So what's up, y'all? So we back with another one, you know. There you have it, bro. Straight from the mouth of uh, Jermell's trainer himself, you know. Who better knows about Jermell's size than his trainer? So I don't think you should gain too much weight. I don't think you should come in at 168 for no reason at all. He's pretty much saying that he doesn't even think Jermell should make it to 168. Just stop and think about that for a minute. Like I was telling you guys in my last video, Jermell bulking up and, and just trying to put on so much weight like that, it's only going to make him slower. For him, you know what I mean? It's all about, I believe it's about speed and athleticism. So I don't think you should gain too much weight. You should go in there in extreme shape, man. Like I said, ready to box for 12 rounds, be light on your feet. Like I said, run around. And you got to have the energy to, to keep that up for 12 rounds. You know, he says it himself in this interview that Jermel is smaller than Canelo. You know, I, I was telling you guys this, bro. I've been trying to tell you guys this, man. And it's not like, bro, I don't, I don't come out here just making shit up. I, I try to give you guys the facts. At the end of the day, that's all I try to do, man. I'm kind of noticing that people don't really like the facts, though, man. People just want to believe what they want to believe and just root for Canelo no matter what at the end of the day, bro. I'm kind of getting it already, you know. But the facts are the facts, man. And there you have it, you know, straight from the mouth of Jermel's trainer. You know, like I had told y'all in that last video, a lot of you guys uh, forget about the rehydration after the weigh-in, you know. Like I was telling you guys, what is Jermel going to rehydrate to? He's probably not even going to come in at 168. So what does that tell you? How much is he really going to rehydrate, man? He's going to be at a crazy disadvantage weight-wise compared to Canelo come fight night. So yeah, I definitely agree with the game plan to come in faster and athletic and all that. But still, bro, um, it's a big disadvantage. That's a good game plan, but that still doesn't mean that this is going to be a competitive fight. It just means that that's the best game plan for such a disadvantage that he's going to have to go up against. Think about it. He's telling Jermel not to even make 168. He said there's no point because why, bro? You're going to buck up and you're going to lose your, your natural abilities, which is your quickness, your speed. And I think that he knows that it really doesn't matter if Jermel bucks up. He's not going to match Canelo's size come fight night, bro, because Canelo is going to rehydrate. Canelo is going to make 168, but he's going to rehydrate 15 to 20 pounds come fight night and what is Jermel gonna rehydrate like you guys are hearing it bro he's probably not even gonna come in at 168 you know in my personal opinion a win for Jermel would just be to make it out this fight bro just to take this thing to decision and if he gets out of this fight without getting knocked out that's a big win for Jermel but like I keep telling y'all bro he's not just going up against anybody at 168 bro he's going up against Canelo I mean we all know the kind of skills that Canelo has man and Jermel's gonna be trying to run away from him and all that, but Canelo will eventually catch him. Canelo has crazy experience, man. He's got crazy skills. So, I mean, there's nothing that Jermel is really going to be able to do in the ring that Canelo hasn't seen before. And with that crazy weight disadvantage, all it's going to take is for Canelo to land one shot on this guy. I'm not saying just the first punch is going to knock him out, but just that one clean shot, and uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be over. So, yeah, all you guys that are saying that Jermel is bigger than Canelo and this and that, I mean, I kept trying to break this thing down to you guys so many times, bro. I'm not just coming on here just trying to make things up. I'm really trying to give you guys, like, the truth, you know. It's not hard to see what kind of build that Jermel has. He's a skinny fighter. And you know how I kind of picked this up, bro? Because he's kind of like my size. And that's why I kind of noticed this thing, bro. Jermel, he's probably got 10 pounds on me. And we're the same height. And I know what kind of a build I have, bro. And when I see Jermel, he kind of has my build. He's just a little bit heavier than me. I walk around like a 160, a 160, and I'm his height, bro. So you add another 10 pounds to that, it's not a big frame, you know. It's not nothing compared to Canelo, where Canelo's walking around probably 190. So Canelo's walking around 190, he's going to cut all the way down to 168, and you guys keep saying he doesn't cut a lot of weight, just do the math right there, bro. He's going to make it all the way down to 168, he's going to rehydrate, he's going to come in big as hell. And you know, with Canelo's body type, Canelo's body, him being short, I think that actually helps him, bro, at that weight class, man, because him being short and being that weight, in my opinion, bro, I think it actually makes him more athletic, you know, um... Here's a quick example for you guys. Look at Mike Tyson, man. How tall was Mike Tyson? I think Mike Tyson was 5'10", and he was fighting a heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? This shit isn't at all about height, man. It's about the build. So, you know, I think now we could stop this whole uh, Jermel is bigger than Canelo or they're the same size and all that. 
nah, you know, Jermel is smaller than Canelo, and he is at a disadvantage, man. So if Jermel, for some weird reason, for some miraculous reason, uh, manages to pull this off, man, Jermel deserves so much credit, bro, because it's a real uphill battle on his behalf, you know. But we'll see, man. Uh, we'll see how this fight turns out, bro. Hopefully it just doesn't end in some kind of tragedy, bro, like the Amir Khan uh, fight. But I honestly, uh, I see it playing out just like that, bro, just like Amir Khan uh, when he fought Canelo. All it took was that one shot from Canelo, and he KO'd uh, Khan and pretty much ended his career. So, yeah, man, there you have it. You know, I saw that, and I had a report on it, bro. I had to bring this to y'all so y'all could really see, you know, uh, the truth about Jermel's weight. But, yeah, you know, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment, man, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, I'll be bringing you guys more videos uh, as these fights get closer, you know. But that's it for me, you guys. I'll be on to the next one.